Hi, wrestling fans. This is Mad Matt Carter along with AIWF Hall of Famer Brian Danty telling you and reminding you about the most awesome, at least we think so, wrestling podcast there is. It's AIWF Ringside Wrestling, and it comes your way on all your favorite podcasting platforms. Apple, Spotify, iHeartRadio, just to name a few. Brian, they can also see it on YouTube. But the cool thing about our podcast, it's completely live and interactive every Sunday night on Facebook. Yeah, it certainly is. And uh, we get into uh, all the all the uh, the news of AIWF, WWE, TNA, all, all of them. We don't just cover AIWF. We cover we cover the whole spectrum of wrestling. You can comment. You can you can put comments in there. We'll answer your questions. It, it's a great time. And sometimes. Most of the time we're talking about wrestling, sometimes it goes off the rails and that's just that sometimes that's even more entertaining. Yeah, that's part of part of the charm, I guess, of the show, right? So be sure to tune in anywhere you find your favorite podcast on the AIWF Ringside Wrestling YouTube channel and of course on Facebook live on Sunday night for the most interactive wrestling podcast in the United States. It's AIWF Ringside Wrestling. All right, so on last, the main event was Nia Jax against uh, Australia's own Rhea Bloody Ripley. So that's my question is, this is one of my questions. And, and, you know, like the crowd was so against Judgment Day. And it seems like everybody is against Judgment Day except when she comes out. So yes, it's exactly like, right. and like, why, why is she staying with them? Like at this point, she's so over that, you know, it, you got to keep all the goth kids together. Yeah, yeah, and, and 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 honestly, I mean, she need. I think she still wants to use them to her advantage. You know, she needs Dom just, or somebody. I guess I noticed the big because of the big difference between like when they came out for that tag belt, like how the crowd just hated them. So, yeah, the Judgment Day are pretty despised, and Rhea has. I've been watching the Judgment Day since they started, and um, I don't know if y'all remember me months and months ago last year talking about how Rhea just like grates on my nerves and how annoying she is when she comes out and she licks her teeth and um, and does that smile. And uh, I don't know, it's um, it's still annoying, but she's grown on me. Is not like I I mean I've always known what a great wrestler she was and everything. She just the mark in me was just like, God, I hate your face. You know, you and, do have and, something against people with big teeth. This hmm? is the second time you've mentioned women's big teeth. Oh, well, Aubrey Edwards has giant Mr. Ed type teeth. Rhea, I just think it's unique that she licks her teeth. And I'm not really into goth chicks, but Rhea's pretty. And uh, and so, and she's big and she's strong. She's rough and she's She's definitely tough. Triple H's type. <clears throat> Evident, well, maybe in his twenties, but not, not for a lifetime. Uh, it's more Xbox type. Yeah, uh, but yeah, no, uh, yeah. but anyway, before we go any closer to disrespecting the dead, let's move on. These girls went back and forth. I mean, it was a, it was a really good match, and I was afraid because Nia Jax typically does not have the best matches, but. She had good matches with Oscar back years ago in NXT, and I was hoping Rio would be able to get a good match out over here, and they did okay. I mean, it they got through it, and it was entertaining. It went back and forth, a lot of power moves. We got to see Rhea throw a drop kick, which you typically do not see women her size do, and I've never seen her do it before. But she threw a running drop kick in this match, and it was a thing of beauty. She didn't hit it square, but both feet were up there. Rick Diesel, you look like you got like a, a pregnant anaconda. <laughs> I've said this before. Like, she is, I think that Nia Jax is an attractive woman. I mean, I think she's attractive. And, and you know, but I guess maybe unless she wears that gear to, to get people to hate her, like, then that would be a very smart move on her part. Because, you know, people already hate her. And then she's going to dress the part to make people hate her even more. But mm. I've said before, I don't, her outfits are not flattering i don't think she could attract bears with a picnic basket she has a very pretty face it's like she has jennifer lopez's head lopez's head on refrigerator perry's body 
Oh, uh, my God. And I'm fat. And I shouldn't say that. I'm, I'm fat, too. As a, but As a fat girl, I, I try my best to, to actually act, say the word for me. Accentuate. Accentuate the parts that are mine that are not not nice. So it is. I'm terrible. I'm fat shaming. I'm sorry. I shouldn't say no. I can't call you out on it. Though. I'm no. outfit shaming. I'm, I did because who was. So, so she could wear an outfit that would be more flattering. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To her, yeah, I, I would not talk shit about Nia Jax if she did not hurt people by being reckless. Yeah, yeah, I, I do. That is, that's, that's my, my biggest, biggest issue with her too. Right. Yeah, now she has not done that lately, but yeah, that's you know true. what? Keep up the good work, and mm -hmm. and, you, and and eventually I will get past it. But um, but it ain't me you got to worry about. It's your coworkers. Mm -hmm. If people are like. Hey, we want, we're thinking about putting you in a program in Naya. No, man, that bitch is dangerous. Can you find me somebody else? You know, that's not good. You know, yeah, so. I, I would think of all her career right now, she's probably over the most she's been in a long, long time. And when I say over, I know people don't like her, but they're really buying in to, to oh, yeah. hating her right now. And 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 the things I have seen her do lately have been a little bit better. Um you know, so, but yeah, you're right. It's like, if she didn't, I. She yeah, needs more perfect. personality too. Cause when she cuts a promo in the ring, it's always like, I'm better than everyone else. It is. It's and, terrible. You know, she is terrible on the mic. She should but be. Nepotism a, will never die in her. No. Because like, it's not because she's big that she hurts people. Awesome Kong didn't hurt people. No, she's um, reckless. Uh, yeah, she is. And you know, it's, and 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 it's like it's not just happened once or twice. I mean, how many times? I mean, it's happened tons of times. Yeah. And um, you know, I don't know. I do like her boots. Those are nice. Yeah, and she's old. Dust would be proud. She's got um, she's got very um, she's got some good heat going right now because I noticed especially like, you know, you'll see people like when she comes to the ring and starts talking, you'll see people across from the hard cam at ringside jump up and start pointing and shouting obscenities at her. So something's working. It's like, but, but then it's like that thing, is she is she over or do people really hate her? Yeah, like, it, might, it might be go home heat. I don't know. But um I think that is I not think a flatter picture. Like do what Rick Diesel, I'm sorry, I think again. people just don't like her. No. Yeah. But she's not going anywhere. No, because no. of who her family is. Period. Yep. Well, I mean, if she if she were to, like would have landed on Rhea's face and broke her nose during this I match, I don't nobody know. wants to piss off that family. Yeah, I think I think they would have got rid of her for a while, like they did before, and then bring her back. Yeah, and... that that I, I believe they'll do. I, I I do believe that 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 it'll be okay. You got to go away for a while, but we'll bring you back. Don't worry. You know. Yep, and impressive here. Rhea Ripley hit a superplex uh, off the top rope here, and the ring didn't collapse because both of them are. I'm not just talking about Nia. Rhea's a big girl too, and uh, so they they landed. Rhea hits the riptide, and of course, mommy's always on top. One, two, three, and Rhea Ripley wins the match. Place goes nuts. But this right here is my favorite. They ended the pay per view with this, and this is my favorite picture. From all the ones of the show, there's Rhea, there's mom, there's dad, random family member, but there's her sister. Can you tell? Remember when Rhea first came around? She had blonde hair. She's a natural. The little blonde. the girl in the blue. The yes, denim? that's her sister. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. She did look like that, didn't she? Yes. Rhea. I liked her better when she looked like that. Yeah, yeah, I don't. I, don't I think they know. did that. To me, she's much more attractive without all the tattoos and the goth think, makeup. I think so too, but I think when she came along, like when she was coming up through NXT, she had longer blonde hair. And when they started to move her up to the main roster, they already had Charlotte there. So the yeah. first thing they had her do oh, was yeah. cut her hair and then she went black. And so now she's turned that into a good look. But yeah, her whole family, not her whole family was there, but mom and dad and uh, sister and cousins. And, and it was... Uh, a lot Looks of like a family. creepy aunt that just wants to rub her leg. <laughs> yeah, who's like, hey, please give me some. That's probably the one that asks her for money all the time. Yeah. <laughs> hey, yeah. remember me? Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but look, like this lady right here, like has got one of her old school shirts on. Looks like maybe from the Independence, right? 
because she's always kind of done that metal head gimmick. Oh, wait, yeah, man. see that, okay. yeah. And so I was circling but on the preview. Thing. This is my only problem with ta- okay. This is my only problem of, uh, and this is this is going away from the storyline. Like, um, I don't like pay per views before like huge pay per views like WrestleMania because you might not know who's going to win the elimination chamber, but you know for certain that Rhea Ripley's not going to drop a title before WrestleMania. Mm-hmm. You know that they're not right. going to drop tag belts before WrestleMania. Like you know those things aren't going to happen. Yeah. And and that's the only thing about that. Um that and you know, maybe it maybe I don't know. That's that's my only thing about about some pay-per-views when they when they have big matches like this. It's just you know that Nia Jax is not gonna go into WrestleMania to you know with the belt. You know that's not gonna happen. Well, the announcers even said it before the match that Rhea Ripley was heavily favored. I think the reason they did it is because of what we were just talking about. People hate Nia Jax. They want to see Rhea get a win in her home country. Yeah. Who, who better for her to kick the shit out of? 